Hello, I'm Sean Baker, and I'm the writer-director of Anora. And welcome to the Mill Valley Film Festival. Does it ever get old? Because you've already gotten awards, mm. and you, you just gave out an award to mm. your star. Mm. How, does, how does all that feel? Um, no, no, it definitely never gets old. I love film festivals. I love this film festival. Um, it gives you the chance, number one, to, to travel the world, meet new people, meet other filmmakers. Um, and then, you know, uh, showing your film is, uh, is pretty cool. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, that's just, um, for me, that's not even the most important part. The most important part is just being in a new place around film lovers mm -hmm. and celebrating cinema. That's the best part. And you've had your eye on Mikey since before there was a script. Yes. What was it about her that drew you to have her in your film? So I saw her in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I thought she stole the last 15 minutes of the movie. Um, I went back again because I, lo I love the movie. And then I went back a third time just to watch that scene because she really, really grabbed my attention. And as somebody who casts their own films, I cast my own films, I'm always keeping like a file up mm. here of like actors I want to work with. So, uh, you know, she was up there. And then I saw Scream. And I think it was a combination of those two. I know it was a combination of those two performances because in the theater watching Scream, I turned to my wife and producer Samantha Kwan and I said, we're calling her agent the second we step out of the theater. <laughs> and we did, and, and, we, and she happens to have the same agent as Brooklyn Prince from the okay. Florida Project, so there was already a connection. We met, and I realized she certainly was not typecast. She's very, you know, she's very reserved and quiet and very different from the character she played, which actually gave me a lot of confidence that if she can do that, if she has all that range. So um, we offered her the role right there and then. And then I was able to actually go I already had the idea in my head, so then I was able to just go write the screenplay for the next year with her face in mind as I was developing this character, and it was a real pleasure to do so. Ivan Jan, What? It's Anna. And you talk about having this idea in your head. Mm. It's been in there for 15, 20 years, mm. but you want to have it done in New York, Brooklyn, yep. including the Russians. Yeah. Can you talk about that and to finally be here at this moment? Yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a long time coming, um, we, but I had to figure out the plot. I had to figure that out, and that came after Red Rocket. It was this, this eureka moment, this one day where we said, well, what if this young sex worker marries the son of a Russian oligarch? That would put her in this situation. That would, that would help us explore the theme of power dynamics and and this the stigma that's applied to sex work. So, so um, it also it just seemed to be the right time. And um, and I'm glad I waited because look, Mikey would have been what, ten years old when I first <laughs> thought about this thing, you know. So so uh, it it happened at the right the time. Perfect time. Yeah. And so a, a movie that's so immersive. But brings humor. Can you describe bringing those balances together? Sure. I mean, I always infuse humor in everything I do, and I, I see life as a combination of comedy and pathos. So if you don't have one, it's not truthful. So I, oh, even if even in scary situations or tragic situations, you can find some humor in it. It might be gallows humor or dark humor, but it's there. And also, we all hu use humor every mm -hmm. day to cope. We use to get just get by so that's what I do and my actors I guess because I've made several films like this now they came to the table understanding my sensibility mm -hmm. and were ready to infuse humor into their performances and they did wonderful it's a frog marriage and we're getting a in an old SAP and you talk about making several films they all seem to get that award talk and those talks of like, oh, this might happen, this is gonna... Do you pay attention to that anymore? Or are you like, I'm just making my movie? Um, I almost am forced to pay attention <laughs> to it, but it's okay because uh, I'm really happy about the the fact that Mikey is in this discussion. And that's what, that that's all that I truly care about, about my actors getting the recognition they deserve, about my incredible cinematographer, Drew Daniels. I mean, I hope he gets recognized for his work because he gave me exactly what I wanted and he is an incredible artist. Well, we got to give you props too. You, you're also on those I just, no, I, just, I just sit back and th this movie was made by my incredible cast and crew. I was just like, this is easy. <laughs> so if you guys want to, yeah, put me in the conversation, do it. But <laughs> well, Congratulations. Thank you.